today I'm reviewing a really fun pendant for Halloween and I just love this pendant for all year round. It's classy, it's elegant, not too big, not too small. Goldilocks would totally dig it and especially if you're like me and you're a fan of bats. It's just the perfect bat because again, it's just good, a little bit of spooky for all year round. It's also great for Halloween. It was created by Sweet Romance. It's a jewelry company with the endorsement of Elvira. So it's the Elvira Bat Pendant. This is how the box looks. Um, they have a regular one with the artist's name on it, and I think they just decided to add $5 and put a spider web on it and call it Elvira's Bat Pendant, but um, whatever. And we will talk about that in a second with the make of it. If you guys are new to subscribe, check out our spooky playlists. I'm Morticia, Gomez is behind the camera. And if you would like to see more jewelry, because I do a lot of it, I love it. It's so important to accessorize and show who you are with it. So there's a jewelry playlist and we'll link that below. But anyway, that's how the box looks on the front. It's got like a little fake gem glued here. The bracelet box looks the same way, by the way. I reviewed the bracelet and I will link it below. Um, and this is a little card with her pictures inside to which I'm honestly indifferent but I'm just showing what well, that's the company card this is the company's card and there's like jewelry pictures on the back and now we get to the actual reason we're all here oh in case anybody cares it's just a velvet little box inside like a, not a box but a velvet like cushion and then that's how the top looks it's got like a little, almost like a, oh, I just broke it, a little plastic thing, but it, the pendant wasn't attached up there, so I guess it was supposed to hold the cards. They put a lot of effort into the packaging. It's a nice sturdy kind of jewelry box. I will be reusing it to gift or when I sell stuff um, either way. So someone will enjoy a cute little box. And now for the pendant itself. It doesn't look very sturdy, but I wear it a lot, and I've worn it a lot layered with other necklaces, and it has not broken. So I would have complained about it, but I was used to the bracelet, and the bracelet didn't look very sturdy, and I complained about it. And I wear it a lot, and it has not broken. Unfortunately, the spider web charm came off the back of it, but I was home. It's somewhere in this house, and I will find it eventually. So it's funny. The spider web is sturdy, and I thought that was not a problem, but the link made it come off because it's heavy. And so um, I'll show you how that looks because it's the same exact spider web they put on this. But if you look at my bracelet review, I wasn't happy and it's actually not broken. So I will say that. Um, but I was saying it wasn't worth the price and I still agree, but I like the way it looks. It's cute and I bought it anyway to spoil myself for Halloween. It looks great with any kind of vampy costume or just anything. I wear it all the time. Um, the chain is like, it's got little beads. This comes in bronze and silver, if I didn't say that. And I chose the bronze because I like the old-fashioned steampunk look, and I do wear it with silver. I don't care. I mix my stuff. That's my raven skull from Spirit Halloween. That's ten dollars. Looks just like Alchemy Gothic's raven skull. That's thirty and up usually. So yeah. Um, but this is the bat. I like it. Has a little bit of curvature in the wing, like it's. You can see back here where it's bent, and it does that on both sides. Um, when it's the bracelet, it's to curve around the bangle, but for the pendant, it gives it nice movement, like it has a little bit of wave in it. I'm going to move my hand so you can see that, but it's like the bat is flying. Um, it's, it has a little bit of weight to it. It's sturdy. So that's nice. And this was $40. I think that's a lot. Get it from Amazon, you get free shipping. Um, it's like $35 and then shipping on a lot of sites, or 30, more than that in shipping. So go Amazon. Um, the bracelet was, I think, $35. And again, it's just, it's not even, I don't think it's real bronze and real silver. It doesn't say that. And so I think that's a lot to charge when it's not real. And like, yeah, but I do like it. I love the way it's made. I love his little body. You can even feel the fur. You got his little like rounded little bottom and his little feet and his cute little face with his ears. I just love his personality. He's a really cute bat. I like the art in him. Um, I really do. I like the way he's made. So that's why I paid more than he is worth. But is he worth $40? No. It's a very thin chain that I was afraid would break. And luckily he hasn't yet. I make jewelry. So if an accident happens, I can fix it. Will I be happy? No. I'm going to turn around and show you the back. He has this little spider web that dangles at the clasp. And that's the same one on the bracelet that dangles at the back of the bangle bracelet that has the same bat on it. So it matches. I could have turned the necklace around, but I wanted to show you how it would actually look hanging down in the back. So that's how that works. And again, it's, it feels like 
Um, not a strongly made piece, but it has not broken. The same as the bracelet, and I don't know, again, that it's really worth it not being real silver or real bronze. But I really do like it, so I'm not complaining. Sometimes you just have to spend more than you think you need to for something if you actually like it. So once I find my spider web to reattach to the bracelet, I will be happy. I really love this bat. He's one of my favorites. He's just, he fills me with Halloween. So we hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, stay spooky, my friends.